Governor John Kasich met with local and regional officials and business leaders at Echo Environmental Waverly on Wednesday to celebrate the creation of new jobs in Pike County. Because without the jobs, then we have, we have the sky-high unemployment, we have the, when I say depression, I don't even talk about the economy, I'm talking about the attitude of the people, and then it sets a very fertile ground for the things that we all want to fight against, which is the substance abuse and the fact that we, we, don't, we don't have everything that we can take advantage of to fight all those things. And it really gets down to jobs. And so we have to have the best minds, the best entrepreneurs. And we were talking before we, we came in here about the type of companies. And some of the companies may be three or 400 people, but if we can start to develop a corridor down here where we can make it easier for companies to be, I really want to do it. Um, Think about this. this facility is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, it's just huge and it's clean as a whistle. And we're going to have, over time, 500 people working here. Echo Environmental Waverly recently acquired the 1 million square foot Andrew Jackson building located in Seal Township and formerly owned by Masco in order to open a facility that processes end-of-life electronics and recovers copper for recycling. Also speaking at Wednesday's event was State Representative Cliff Rosenberger. Now, I haven't had a chance to work with too many governors in my, uh, uh, in my short career in the legislature, two and a half years, but I can tell you that th this governor is a, a man on a mission to reshape Ohio, to turn us around and make us number one in Ohio, and no matter what the obstacle, no matter what the barrier, this governor tears them down to make sure that happens, and that's the reason we're here today, to be able to secure these jobs and move it forward. In its first year, Echo Environmental Waverly plans to create at least 12 full-time positions processing approximately 30,000 pounds a day. By 2015, the company plans to add 100 full-time jobs, and the final phases of the project, which are scheduled for completion in 5 to 10 years, could create up to 500 jobs. Here is Alan Stockmeister, Echo Environmental CEO. Welcome to our new facility, and I know that it looks like, what's a million square feet? <laughs> Well, this is a million, 22,000 or something square feet. And I know we look like a copper penny, because we're going to talk about copper in a little bit. We look like a copper penny in the middle of Ohio Stadium. But someday, when these guys get finished talking about it, and when we can roll up our sleeves and get to work, we plan to fill this place. For more on Governor Kasich's visit to Pike County, be sure to check out the March 31st edition of the Pike County News Watchman and PikeCountyDaily.com.